Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Raphael Gonzalez. And I'm Ari Wagner. Today is Wednesday, February 8th. Now let's get started with today's announcements. There's an open lab session today after school in room HF17 from 3.30 to 4.30. All VAPA students are expected to submit portfolios by May 5th. If you'd like more information, contact the teacher in charge of your major. If you're interested in being a part of next year's yearbook, stop by HE3 and pick up an application for Ms. Lawson. Also, if you're interested in joining AVA next year, pick up and turn in an application in room HL2 or in student services by Friday, March 9th. What's the weather looking like, Christine and Alexis? Wolfpack, I'm Alexis Montgomery and here's your weekly weather forecast. According to usatoday.com, today will be sunny and the average temperature is 51 degrees Fahrenheit, which is higher than what we'd expect for the average February temperature. The winds will be headed northwest at 10 miles per hour and lastly the sunset will occur at 5.36 p.m. Now let's move into our forecast. According to weather.com, Thursday will be sunny and Friday will be mostly sunny and in the upper 60s to low 40s. Then for this weekend, Saturday will be mostly sunny and Sunday will be partly cloudy and in the upper 60s to low 40s. Well, that's all, Wolfpack. I'm Alexis Montgomery. Now to Christine for your weather news. Hey, Wolfpack. I'm Christine Unsalon here with your weekly weather news. We haven't been getting much snow here in California lately, but have you heard of the amount of snow that has caused quite a disruption throughout Europe? According to usatoday.com, Paris, London, Rome, and many other parts of Europe have been under heavy snowfall that ranged from 3 feet to 6 feet throughout this winter season. In Rome, the past four days have been, caused, have been the worst snowfalls in decades, which have caused streets to shut down. In Bosnia, hundreds of villages, villages were isolated by snow inns, roads, and avalanches that resulted in lack of food supply, electricity, and other necessities that pe for people among that region. Accord records show that these low temperatures seem to be what is known as a mini ice age across Eastern Europe and across the continent. Maybe some of this snow can come our way. Well, that's your weekly weather. I'm Christine Unsalon. Back to you, anchors. There will be a mock ACT and SAT test on the 25th of this month. Sign up in the student store or the controller's window. The test is only $10, so be sure to sign up. Tickets for senior and junior ball are still on sale in the student store for only $75. Buy your ticket now so you won't miss out. There will be a key club meeting today after school from 315 to 345 in room HP7. If you would like to run for a position as officer, but cannot make it, then contact Eric Bain as soon as possible. The Pennies for Patients campaign is only going on for two more weeks. Donations will be accepted during Burley, both lunches. You can donate not just coins, but by donating a dollar, you will be able to purchase a paper penny that will be posted in the lunchroom. This Friday, we'll be having our second food fair during both lunches. We'll have a food as such as such as round table, jamba juice, taco bell, funnel cakes, and a variety of other delicious food. Don't forget to bring your money on Friday and get your grub on. Our school will be holding another blood drive on February 23rd. Sign-ups will take place during lunch next week from the 14th through the 17th. In order to donate, you must be at least 16 years old, weigh 110 pounds, have had no tattoos within the last 12 months, and be in good health for the at least 48 hours before you donate. If you are under the age of 18, you must bring a signed parent consent form to school next week. Parent consent forms are available in the Student Services building, so don't forget to pick one up. The second rap battle of the year will be on February 24th. If you want to be a part of the rap battle, make sure you sign up during lunch this Wednesday through Friday because we are only taking the first 10 participants. 
If you missed out on the last battle, be sure to sign up for this one. If you are one of the people who donated cans to the Kids Can Drive in November, come by the leadership room before first period on February 9th for your reward of donuts and hot chocolate. Thanks for the donations. There will be a mandatory football meeting tomorrow during both lunches in Coach Gomes' room, HJ4. It is vital that you attend if you plan on playing football next year. Quickly get your lunch and then go directly to Coach Gomes' classroom. Broadcasting applications are due today. Make sure to get that application in by the end of the school day. Upon submission, expect to be interviewed later this week. If you're interested in joining leadership next year, then pick up an application in the leadership window. They are due by the 24th at 1230 p.m. If you plan on running for ASB president, vice president, or class governor, then you must attend the candidate meeting on February 24th at 315 in the activities room. So, uh, Ari, what would you say your favorite school subject is? Uh, I'd have to say broadcasting. I guess that's mine, too. Well, here's a video on other people. My favorite subject is history because you get to learn about people that came before you. Lunch. My favorite school subject is science, EMC squared, all that. Uh, my favorite school subject is history. Yeah, I love learning history. PE. I like messing with that U.S. history. Miss Cook, shout out to Miss Cook. What's yours, what's yours, what's yours, what's yours? Uh, mine will probably be math, yeah. My favorite school subject would have to be theater because, you know, that's just where it's at. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Ari Wagner. And I'm Raphael Gonzalez. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have a great Wednesday, Wolf Pack. Thank you.